And with the Obama administration wrestling over reforming the NSA surveillance program, state lawmakers across the country are taking measures into their own hands. This is an incredible story, and as John Blackstone reports, one proposal in Utah would dry up a lot more than support for the NSA. Sprawled across one and a half million square feet of land south of Salt Lake City, this massive data storage warehouse is the National Security Agency's largest such facility in the country. If one Utah state lawmaker gets his way, it will also be the driest. The federal government can spy and collect all this data if it wants, but as a state, we don't have to support it. The new NSA data center in Utah requires 1.7 million gallons of water every single day. Mark Roberts is drafting a bill that would cut off state water to the facility, which needs it to cool its huge banks of computer servers. The legislation would also prohibit state universities from working with the NSA as long as it continues to collect phone records and data on millions of Americans. The policy in the state would be that we won't provide any material support or assistance in any way to the data center. Utah is just one of 15 states considering bills to deny local resources to NSA facilities. Michael Bolden's nonpartisan think tank wrote the model legislation most of these proposals are based on. The legislation basically says, hey, the state is not going to participate in helping the federal government spy on people in the United States or around the world without a warrant. Last month, President Obama laid out a path to reform for the NSA data collection program. The reforms I'm proposing today should give the American people greater confidence that their rights are being protected. Yet state lawmakers are still trying to impact the agency at their level. The bills are all in the very early stages, and their chances of passage are uncertain. But their authors' messages are coming across loud and clear. Turn it off. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.